how to multiply two rational numbers. In this problem, we have two rational numbers 3 over 4 and 5 over 7, and you have to multiply these two rational numbers. Whenever you are multiplying two rational numbers, then straight multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So this gives you 15 or 28. Now, this 15 over 28, check whether there is any highest common factor between 15 and 28 or not, if you want to simplify this fraction. Even this is correct, but suppose if you want to further simplify it, then you simply check whether there is any highest common factor between the numerator and the denominator or not. In this case, you don't have any highest common factor. Therefore, you don't need to simplify it. In this example, the multiplication is in between 11 over 12 and minus 10 over 6. Now, if you notice, in this problem, the only difference is that here you have the negative sign in the numerator but in this case, you have negative sign in the denominator and rest all values are same. And why I have written this here? Why we have mentioned it here? If you remember, when we were discussing subtraction of two rational numbers and addition of two rational numbers, then we have learned in that those cases that if there are denominators having negative sign, then we first remove the negative sign from the denominators. But in the case of multiplication, in the case of multiplication and division, we don't follow that step. If you want to remove this negative sign from the denominator, you can, but that is not necessary. And how we do this? We simply multiply both the numerator and the denominator with minus one. And you get what? The negative sign comes with the numerator. And that's exactly actually what this is an equivalent rational number of this one only. So this comes as this one. But again, in multiplication and division, that's not necessary. But in addition and subtraction, that's necessary. Now, in this case, you first multiply both the numerators and then the denominators. So 11 times 10 minus 10 and then 12 times 6. Now, what do you get? If you multiply 11 and 10, you get 110 and then put this minus sign here and then this is as 72. Now, if you find out the highest common factor of 110 and 72, if you want to simplify, if you don't want to simplify, even you can leave it this like this, but it's always good to simplify. Now, the highest common factor of 110 and 72, highest common factor of 172, 110 and 72 is 2, right? So if you divide 100 and this, keep this minus sign here, right? Keep this minus sign here, because you can write this number as we have learned all these things. Minus sign in the middle and simply write it at like this. This minus sign is actually in the center only, right? So if you divide 110 with 2 and then 72 with 2, you get 55 or 36. Right, so this is the answer. Now, if we had multiplied, if we had multiplied 11 times 10 and then 12 times minus 6, then we would have got 110 or minus 72. Right? Everything is same. Now, remember, we have discussed this, that even this one can be written like we have mentioned it here. 
that we can put this minus sign here. So even you can write even this one as minus sign here, 110 and 72, right? So if you divide it, this comes exactly at this one. Because you have to remember that minus p over q is equal to p over minus q and this is equal to, this is in center, right? So all these are actually equal, whichever form you want to use, you can use. Okay, now let's move to this one. Same thing here, this is minus 7 over 3 times 5 over 8, this is 7 over minus 3 times 5 over 8, same discussion that you don't need to remove the negative sign from the denominator. If you want to keep it, you can simply keep it. So here, if you want to multiply, if you have to multiply, then minus seven times five, that is the numerators together, and then three times five, that is the denominators together. And you get minus 35 or 24, okay. If you want to simplify, check whether there is any highest common factor, there is a highest common factor or not. In this case, there is no highest common factor. So this is already in its simplified version. And if you want to write it like this, that is minus sign in the middle, you can write it like this one also. Okay. Here, you have minus eight over nine times minus seven over two. So minus eight times minus seven, that is a multiplication of numerators together. And then nine times two, that is a multiplication of denominators together. You get 56 or 18. You get 56 or 18. Now, if you have to simplify it, find the highest common factor of 56 and 18. Highest common factor of 56 and 18. And if you find it, you get two. So what you have to do is 56 divided by two and then 18 divided by two, you get 28 or nine. So this is the answer for this one. In this case, you have minus one over minus three and minus five over minus seven. Remember, whenever your rational number is in the form minus p over minus q, then this is actually p over q only. And how? This minus p and this minus q, if you multiply both these two rational numbers by minus one, right, then you get the equivalent rational number without any negative sign, without negative signs, okay. So this is same thing, remember. So using this, if you multiply minus one with minus one, and in examination, you have to show this step. That's really, very really important. And this minus three times minus one, you get one over three. You have to show this step, remember. So you get one over three times same thing here, this is minus five times minus one, then minus seven times minus one, and you get five or seven. So this is five or seven. So this comes as 15 or 21. 15 or 21. Now, if you look at these two, if you find highest common factor, you get 15, 21, you get three. So 15 divided by three, that is the highest common factor. Then 21 divided by three, you get five or seven. So this is the answer for this one.